This is New Cap News with Emmett Murphy. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Carrie's in tonight with a look at sports. And as we just saw, some young local women are doing quite well on the rink this year. Yeah, some young ladies got the honor of being invited to the All-Star team. And I'll have details on that. Stay tuned for sports. And Elise, when I woke up this morning, some snow on the ground. Is that going to be sticking around? It shouldn't be sticking around too much longer. We're going to see it melt probably sometime tomorrow. So some more bad news for people who are looking forward to a white Christmas, unfortunately. But right now in Lloydminster, we're sitting at minus 6 with a 69% humidity. A light wind coming in from the northwest at 18 kilometers per hour. But it's being light doesn't mean it's any less colder. It's giving us a cool wind chill of minus 12. Around the region, clear skies for everyone and the Lakeland region and Battlefords both sitting at minus 4, experiencing our same wind chill through around minus 10. More to come on your local forecast in a few minutes. A 19-year-old Onion Lake man is recovering from gunshot wounds after a fight yesterday afternoon. At around 4 p.m. Saturday, the victim was shot and rushed to Royal University Hospital in Saskatoon. Police say this was not a random act. The investigation is ongoing and the suspect is still at large. If you have any information on this crime or any other, you are urged to call the Lloydminster RCMP or Crime Stoppers. And Lloydminster RCMP are asking for help in finding a stolen pickup as well as the persons responsible for the theft. A 1995 Chevrolet Silverado extended cab was taken from the 4800 block of 46th Street Friday morning. The truck is lime green and black with black and green rims and it has a Saskatchewan plate numbered 337HNU. If you have any information on this crime or any other, you are urged to call the RCMP or Crime Stoppers. For almost two decades, Southridge Production has entertained crowds in the border city with song and dance. As Elise Cox explains, this is the final curtain call for the show, and a piece of holiday tradition will be missed. Southbridge Productions has presented Christmas musicals for over 34,000 people in the community for 15 years. Its annual performance has been a highlight of the holiday season. We've had many people tell us that this has kind of become a traditional part of their Christmas celebrations and that they come out every year to attend it. Festival of the King is a presentation the group performed a number of years ago. This African show is not your traditional take on the birth of Jesus, but Southridge received many requests to bring it back and thought it was a perfect way to end their yearly tradition. <laughs> With the help of volunteers working on the performance, set design, costumes and all the important elements that help make this production so great, it has become a show that the community loves to get involved in. There's thousands of people that partake every year and it's truly phenomenal what they pull off for a small community like this. When we started doing uh, presentations like this at Southridge, uh, we didn't have the Vic Juba Community Theatre. There wasn't a lot of theatre in Lloydminster. Now there are a lot of groups doing some uh, uh, theatre and musical theatre. With such a successful impact on the community, Southridge is sad to announce they've reached their final curtain call, but are happy to be using their volunteer resources in other ways around the community. It's been really a great opportunity we have to be able to give back to our community in this way at Christmas. Elise Cox, Newcap News. The Christmas spirit has hit the border city, but there's one thing still missing, snow. Lauren Pullen finds out whether we will have a white Christmas after all. On average, we see about 16 centimeters of snowfall for the month of December in Lloydminster. But this year, it's been a completely different story, with this one of the rare occasions where we've seen snow on the ground at all. The question on many minds is, will we have a white Christmas? I'm in hockey. This isn't usually the street hockey season, but it's possible this year due to Lloydminster's lack of winter weather. But why haven't we seen any of the white stuff? We're right in between two paths that the storms normally take. There's one that's moving to the north of us and there's one to the south of us. And we're in the middle where we are actually in a clearing where the snowstorms will not hit. Snow. I want the snow. Many are hoping a winter wonderland makes it on time for Christmas. It would be nice to have a couple, you know, inches or something for Christmas Day. It's not Christmas without snow. It's just not the same. And for their first Christmas in the country, this family is wishing for something to write home about. Yes, yeah, still dreaming of white Christmas kiss. We want to have pictures in the snow. 
<laughs> with our um, suits on. But with the winter weather blowing past our region, Peter Quinlan isn't confident the snow will make it on time. Yes, a lot can change in one week. We are still one week away, and I am making a bold prediction saying that there won't be any snow this Christmas. But chances are, right now with the current model outputs, it does look like we won't be seeing very much of that white stuff on the ground. So if you're dreaming of a white Christmas... You'll be dreaming for a while because the snow doesn't look like it's going to hit our area. So we take a look at our extended forecast. Which may be good news for these street hockey players, but not for anyone wanting the holiday season to bring some snow. So for those still wishing and hoping snow will blanket the border city this Christmas, well, we'll just have to wait and see if the winter weather arrives on time. Lauren Pullen, Newcap News. Carrie joins us now with a look at sports and some young hockey players got a bit of an early Christmas present. Yeah, it is definitely perfect timing. The AMMHL All-Star Game is taking place next month and the Lloyd Minster PWM Steelers will be lending three of their players who have been chosen to participate in a showcase of Alberta's major midget females. With a team full of talent, the ladies' major midget Steelers naturally have a few players they are lending to the Alberta All-Star Game weekend. Forwards Jody Rammel and Eilish Morrison, along with Carlin Bowie on defense, will be heading to Edmonton together next month for a weekend of Alberta's best. Eilish, Eilish uh, Jody and, and uh, Carlin heading off to the All-Star Game. Um, definitely all talented kids. Um, you know, they work together. They actually were, were aligned at the start of the year and we ended up putting Carlin back on defense and she's excelling there. Um, probably, probably the three kids and that should be going. I'm very proud of them. These gals are looking forward to going together and participating in the skills competition. With the chance to win lots of prizes such as new gear, it seems to be a highlight of the weekend. I'm pretty excited. Me and Rammel and Bowie uh, we used to play in a line together. So I think it should be fun. Lots of competition there, all the top girls. Skills competition I think I'm looking forward to. Uh, be a little different, uh, do, everyone sees everyone's different skills. Playing with all that competition and the talents, it's gonna be a good and there's a skills competition, but just being able to see everyone together talent-wise. This is for Jody Rammel's second year attending the All-Star Weekend, and she knows to expect a bit of a different game. I think it's going to be good. I went last year with Jasmine Wright. It was challenging. There's lots of talent there, and you just learn to adapt to it. Fast game, faster than this, of course. Coming back from the tournament, Morrison, Rammel, and Bowie will be bringing back more experience under their belt that their teammates can learn from, and will have made some new friends. I guess you can learn all the other girls' skills, maybe when we play against them in the future, know a little more about them. Uh, maybe some friendships, I guess. To top the weekend off, the closing banquet will feature Olympic gold medalist and Canadian national team member Shannon Sabados. The All-Star Weekend starts up on Saturday, January 7th at the Terwilliger Community Recreation Centre in Edmonton. And the Steelers also won their game today against the Calgary Flyers 5-3. And they will have a bit of a break now for the holiday season. Their first game of the new year is January 14th versus the Edmonton Thunder. The Lloydminster Bobcats came out with a big win last night against the Olds Grizzlies. Lots of roughing in this game. The Grizzlies were living up to their namesake in this one. But the Bobcats were able to capitalize on three of the power plays and add a couple more for the win. And they were also in action today in their last game before the holiday break but unfortunately couldn't get the win in Calgary, losing 4-2 against the Mustangs. Corey Chisholm and Grant Baker were the lone scorers for the Bobcats. In senior hockey, the Lloydminster Border Kings are playing back-to-back -back games. Last night they came out with the victory against the Bentley Generals. Today, though, they outshot the Sylvan Lake 39-20, but ended up losing 8-3. That's your first look at sports. Stay tuned for more news after the break.